Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot, this is Gultu, I'm back with another collective reading for all of you. So we will see that what Spirit wants to tell you today, what messages that you need to hear today, that Spirit wants to deliver to you. It's a general reading, please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading, everything is given in my description box, you can reach out to me if you want to. Do not forget to uh, follow me on Instagram, like and share this video and subscribe my channel, hit the notification bell for most, more upcoming videos. Do not get scammed. I will never contact you. I will never reach out to you anywhere on social media. So block and report those people. So let's see what is the theme for your reading, what's happening, what you're manifesting, or what's coming next for you. What do you need to know right now? We have intuition, uh, awareness within reach, um, answers within reach, gut feelings reflect. Okay, so some of you, your intuitions are very high right now. Universe is telling you something. And if, you're, if you are looking for answers, trust your intuition. It's right. Pay attention to your dreams also. There's something about connection with the moon, intuition, witchcraft. You could be even putting the spell or someone is... Your intuitions are leading you to, towards something or someone. So trust your gut feelings. And, why, and reflect on it. Why you're feeling this way. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, true love. So divine union could be one. You maybe met this person already or you know that this person is coming very soon. Now we also have the truth here. You maybe need to tell this person truth about your feelings. You need to let them know about your feelings. They could be waiting for you. You could be different from each other because I'm seeing the black and white or there's a literally could be a difference between you and them. Now this is someone who may be wanting to tell you about their honest feelings and you can feel that this person is coming. There's a clarity coming, a confession coming from someone and this is your true love. But this could be also you. You need to tell this person about your true feelings. Confession. If you're feeling and drawn to someone right now, so this could be your true love. This can be the one. The birds are very important. Look at this. It's giving me the 222. Two, two. So you could be seeing 222 two number a lot. We also have the birds here. Very important. Like whenever you see the two birds together something to animals together so that's a message couple as a couple okay so it's mean that it's a sign that you are meant to be together now i'm also feeling this is like something to do with the hand gesture this person could be posting something or you're about to could be in a come into union with someone yeah autumn something happening in month of september october november maybe this person born into these months uh, let's say they could be um coming to you with a confession you could be when coming together in a union with this person very soon could be something to do with the leaf hmm. i saw 333 so that could be a message or 33 is very important for you color blue and pink is important air sign this person could be an air sign german ali Aquarius. yeah this is someone literally want to confess something to you or maybe this is you, you're falling or very attractive and drawn to someone who's an air sign. So let them know about your feelings, make a confession. But I think Aquarius, Gemini, Libra will have something to confess to you. Yeah, it's going to start as a friendship maybe. This could be someone who's going to start as a friendship. You will get to know each other. You will have a lot of fun. But this could be also someone who could be, you know, in your friend circle. That's a message. In your friend circle so they maybe have a feelings and confession to make if you feel drawn to someone that you think that this person is keeping a secret from you even if it's your friend or mutual friend or something yes it is because they they're feeling towards you it's a mutual maybe your friend has a confession to make but i think you will start as a friendship you will get to know each other it could be friendship it's also giving me when i see that it could be um like you could be from a same soul tribe because there's a two different, obviously you guys are from different race and culture and religion, that could be, but you're meant to be together. So trust your intuition. We also have a sneaky, uh, karmic, um, deceit, lies. This could be someone coming back from the past, could be even a friend, a deceitful friend coming back to you. Maybe want to make a confession, maybe want to apologize, maybe want to tell you the truth. This could be even someone who, who was very sneaky in the past. They were deceptive. They, they lied, to you, lied to you. They maybe even get influenced by their friends, I think. I, I'm hearing. They could even born into a snake here of Chinese. But there's a wish coming through, I think, for you. Finally, the things are aligning for you. 
wish fulfillment. So wish fulfillment, you really were, I mean, with the snake is also giving me the vibe of someone who's very temperative, like very hot, you know, like very charming, good looking, very good with the words. Like it's a temptation, but it's coming true. But this could be someone that who was sneaky, literally. But let's see, okay, from the now tarot, we will see what is this all about. We already get that, okay. Some of you, you will have a good fi time, friends, with, with the friends. But I think your, your sneaky friend could be coming, also reaching out to you. They could be even watching you, what you're doing, what you're up to. I'm going to use the, this tarot deck, let's see. What's happening for my collective? What do they need to know? Okay, Ace of Cups. Yes, it's a new love. First, a lot of you, it's a new love. Maybe this is someone new who want to be get close to you, want to have a friendship with you. Um, you're about to meet the love of your life if you're single right now. Because I, I'm keep channeling these readings because you know that. Keep doing these readings and, it, and the true love and soulmate and the love of your life is almost coming. But do not, do not, you know... Um, let your negative thoughts or influence of other people or, or try to compare your life with other people. Don't do it because trust your intuition, gut feelings. You know it. It's going to happen. Ace of Cup. Yeah, it's like you're manifesting a new love or there's a new beginning in love with someone coming. I think it's a new love. It's someone that... It's going to be unconditional love. It's coming. Ace of Cup. It's going to be a lot of love here. The hangman, yes, there's a delay here in this union or to receive this love maybe. Because something happening in the autumn. Could be Pisces energy here. Or there is a, someone is holding back with the hangman here, with the confession. They want to tell you the truth. Yeah, Queen of Cups, a lot of love here. A lot of love. Pisces energy is very popping up here. Cancer and Scorpio. This person could be even a healer, light worker, tarot reader. Or you could be doing this, so welcome. You could be manifesting someone, the love of your life. It's coming, but surrender. This person going to change the perspective about love, okay? You, you have to change the perception about love. This person could even have a colorful hair. Oh, temperance. Yes, sun and moon. It's, it's different. This is someone who's different from you. They're different from you. This person could even have a pink or red hair right now. Wow, this person could be, uh, you could be different, like even the bodies. I, I never channel that, but could be, this is someone who's different, like you both have a different bodies. Like one is thick, the other is thin, you know. Uh, one is black, one is white. One is extrovert, otherwise introvert. So yin and yang, moon and sun, you're different. But you're meant to be together. This is true love. This is your soulmate. This is your divine counterpart with the temperance. And patience. I think your patience is going to be rewarded. I'm hearing universe is about to deliver all that wishes. Look at this. It's coming. But you need to maybe, you may be hanging on karmic person. You need to let that person go with that sneaky energy here. You may be still waiting for the karmic because you're really still tempted by that person. Don't do it because this is like, wow. Your wish is about to come true with someone that you really truly deserve. Your true love is this person that about to enter in your life. Could be a new person. Definitely a new person. Um, is this person Sagittarius maybe? Number 14 could be important or 12. Maybe this person born onto this. Maybe you have a choice between two people. But they both are different. Okay, I'm feeling the sneaky person is also coming back to you. The person was very sneaky and karmic coming. But you also have a divine counterpart, your true love. So I hope that you're not going to make a sacrifice or compromise or you're not going to be fool about it like you're going to choose the wrong person. So universe is telling gut feelings, trust your intuition, gut feelings, who you feel very comfortable with, who you feel that is, is truly in love with you. I think they're going to test you. Universe is about to test you, honey. Look, we have the four of pentacles and look, king of wands. This is lion, Leo. Whoa, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, could be Taurus placements. Could be darker complexion than you. This person could even have tattoos on their body. This person wear bracelets. Red, red and blue color could be important. This is definitely someone who's have a lot of heart for you. They could be already watching you. They have eyes on you. Okay, and I'm hearing, I'm, and I'm channeling the song. I, I have got my on you. It's like that. 
I got my eye on you. I have my, oh, I'm sorry, but I know this is how the so uh, song looks like, but yeah, you could be even different complexion wise. This is a very determined person. They're, they have a leadership qualities or they're going to be a leader or they are already a leader, like someone who's very like go-getter type of a person. They want something, they want it and they want you. Fire and water, soulmates, divine counterparts, twin flames, um, like water and fire. But there's something coming, you need to let it go. Ten of Swords. You need to walk away from something. That's universe. Keep telling you, like, let the something go. Let someone, the sneaky energy go. Someone from your past or karmic or... Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it. Someone coming. You have a choice. It's coming. You have a choice, honey. I'm telling you. That's it. I don't know who I'm channeling for. This is, if this is not your reading, this is not your reading. You have a choice between two people. One is a fire, one is an earth sign. And air placements. Yeah, could be air sign. You have a choice between two people. You're going to choose who you want to be with. One is a sneaky. I think this could be the same person. I think coming back from the past. Looks like that. Like they definitely think about themselves. They could be with the four of pentacles. It's like very possessive, very like um, controlling, domineering. But there is someone who's a husband material. Look at this. King of pentacles and four of wands. These two cards came up together. So you're about to meet your true love. That's it's here. And it's going to be very beautiful. It's about meant to be together could be a new love this person is also a lone wolf they're very like workaholic or could be someone who's very successful this is also someone who could be very serious they're looking for a marriage and commitment this could be your twin flame this person that's coming and you are thinking that your karmic is twin flame this is a karmic person that's not the one it's a temptation you need to walk away from this person but that person is watching you and they're going to do again they're going to try again by the way are they thinking about it? They're patiently waiting for the right time, maybe, to do it. I think this is someone who wants to control you, like they want to have you in their life, but at the same time, they cannot give you what you deserve. This is definitely giving me the King of Wands. Um, I know this is, uh, people say that, oh, God, no, they, they, they're giving me the player energy. Like this person maybe used to be a player, or they are in this energy. Like they could be even with the King of Wands and Four of Pentacles, is like holding back, but playing the game, like, you know, chase me come to me type of energy but this person is definitely going to be very humble grounded different i'm hearing when you will see this person or meet this person you will know that this is a wifey or husband material like you will know that this is a marriage material man or woman but we have woman and two men okay so even though if you're a man watching this video you have to make a choice maybe you need to let something go let someone go in order to have this Union with your true love. You could be stuck on someone if you're a man or if you're a woman here. You, you have a choice, honey. The, you're going to choose this person, I think, a lot of you, with the king of pentacles. Like this is dream come true. Gut feelings. Trust your gut feelings. You could be even, that's energy here. Some of you, you could be falling in love with the new person. And the person that you used to chase is uh, now suddenly want to chase you. I'm going to be there for you. But there's something about surrendering energy here with the Queen of Cups. You could be in your energy of right now surrendering. And maybe that's why your all wishes are coming true. Everybody wants you. I don't know what you're doing. You, if you are divine feminine here, you could be coming into your divine feminine energy. You could be even a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or what, an earth sign maybe. You're definitely with the Ace of Cup and Queen of Cup giving this love to yourself. You're like, no, I'm not chasing anyone. I'm not going to go anywhere. So that's why you're attracting masculine energies a lot. I'm not talking about men or women now. I'm talking about masculine and feminine energies. When you work on your feminine energies, you attract people, obviously, automatically. And the person was sneaky, wanting to be th there for you. And there is someone coming that you will know that. With the Nine of Cups and, and, and the Devil, wow, this could be someone who literally, literally could be addicted to you, obsessed with you. I'm also hearing the, the person that you like is also obsessed with you. They also like you. Yeah, you have a karmic. The devil. You have a karmic. One is a karmic, one is your true love, soulmate or twin flame, whatever you believe. It's a spiritual connection, by the way. The person that you're thinking is your twin flame is not. That's your karmic. I know. You need to get more signs about it because 
It's very complicated a label. It's also a very complicated topic. It could be when a soulmate that you're thinking is your soulmate is not, it's, it's, it's someone who's a karmic. Came up into your life for your spiritual awakening, your growth, so you can literally uh, see who is your true love. And this is your true love. That coming, the star, your wish granted. I think it's coming. This could be even someone who is in a public eye with the star and the devil. Uh, they could be working in some type of um, healing industry or entertainment industry. Our industry is like very materialistic. Could be fashion, designing. Um, business, I don't know, they're very like rich and wealthy person coming. This person could be so obsessed and addictive to you, but the star is like, the, the, it's, it's definitely your wish fulfillment. Like, wow, I cannot say it enough. It's like you thought universe is, is not listening to you. No, it's your time to receive this blessing in this shape of this person, in form of this person. You deserve it. But universe will test you if you're going to choose this person or this person. Because you have one karmic and one is literally your true love or soulmate. Now you could be confused about these two people right now. So the message is here, trust your own intuition. Your first card is talking about gut feelings, your intuition. And that person is your true love. And I already give you the signs here. You could be seeing a lot of signs, dreams, you know, symbols, synchronicities. The birds is there. And I'm also feeling the color blue and pink is important. Or there's something about white hair. Pink hair, red hair, lion spirit, lion. Someone could have a very like beautiful smile. Yeah, I think you have two people coming. One, one could be it's also like you're manifesting or you already manifested. This person is falling in love or will fall in love. Could be Capricorn that you're dealing with, Aquarius. Placements could be Leo, Taurus energy here, the fixed sign, Scorpio. Yeah, I think Seven of Wands and Seven of Cups, you both are maybe uh, having options. You both are not right now in the energy to choose anyone. But I'm also feeling there's a block here coming from you. Maybe you have options. So some of you, this is you, you're going to have a lot of options. But you're blocking, you're like, I'm not ready to deal with anyone right now. You're focused on yourself. So keep blocking. Like, no, not blocking. I'm not saying blocking. You need to open your heart chakra. But at the same time, wow, like the snake again. So be careful. I think universe is going to test you from a very sneaky offers coming. Or the snake is coming also in your life. The person who was snake, I don't know who was snake. But you know who I'm talking about, karmic snake. Someone was definitely were deceitful, dishonest. They cheated onto you, they hurt you, they were deceptive, they were playing games, they taught you like they, they let you on. I think they led you on. Like I'm into you, but they were not. They, were, didn't, they never did anything. This was definitely a temptation, I think, a test for you. This person never put the effort. It was not equal give and take, it was not balance. It was a situation ship or unrequited love. Now, you, if you're gonna reject this person offer or that of the person that you're falling for, are you gonna fall in love next with? And let's say this person is already in your energy and they're falling in love. If you're going to resist them, then you're going to miss the chance. You're going to fumble on the bag, I'm hearing. So don't fumble. Because universe is going to trust you and you need to trust your own intuition and gut feelings. That's enough. That's the reading today. But your wish is coming true. You manifested your true love and your true love is about to enter in your life or already. Or you could be falling for it. You could be obsessed with this person already. You like them. They like you. You know, the feelings is mutual. But they're going to make it confession to you. Someone is coming to confess their feelings to you. But you have a karmic coming too. The person who was snake, the test. So the test is there. In, in, in all these options, there's a temptation, there's a test. But one option is true because we have an ace of cups and seven of cups. So it's mean one offer is genuine. One person is genuine. A true love in all these options. That's coming for you. Okay, I'm going to see you later. Bye. God bless you all.